Hello and welcome to today's June 18th stimulus package update. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then you're probably super awesome. If you're not, hey, subscribe right now. It's totally free. I'll give you updates and other smart money tips. Okay, I don't have a letter board today, but Yoda's with me and I do have uh, some, some good updates. Uh, Steve Mnuchin of the U.S. Treasury said in an interview yesterday when he was asked about stimulus money to the people, he said the appeal of direct money or payment, excuse me, is it is a fair way of getting money to everybody in the economy. Now, why would he be talking about a fair way to get money to everybody if they weren't considering a fair way to get money to everybody. So I, I thought that that was a, a, great, uh, a great response. Uh, in that same interview, Mnuchin was asked about the $600 PUA on top of regular state unemployment. He said, we're going to make sure people don't get more money to stay home than they would going to work. That's obviously a bad disincentive for the economy and not fair. So it is an issue that we will fix. Um, I don't think that they, uh, that we're going to see um, that unemployment uh, bonus be cut off immediately, but I do think that it will be lowered so that it, it pays people enough that it doesn't hurt them until they can find a new job, but it also doesn't give them a reason to not look for a job. So I think that they're going to have to comb through and, and come up with a decision, but that is something that they're going to fix. So money for the people is, is fair and an easy way to get it out. And also we're gonna fix that, that too high of unemployment for staying at home. Okay, uh, in some positive news, a judge today ordered the US Treasury to finally release money to Native American tribes that have not received their stimulus money yet. Uh, this made me very happy because I know that there are many Native Americans that are members of our community and they have been waiting patiently for that money. So that money will be coming out soon. Uh, Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve said this week, we have a long road ahead of us to get people back to work. Uh, I read one of the best things this week. Uh, many economists are now coming out and publicly saying that the economy will recover at a much slower rate than expected. Uh, this is in contrast to what the media keeps telling us about this V-shaped recovery and rebounding like a rocket ship. Uh, if the White House wants a rocket ship-like rebound, it's going to have to inject stimulus money to the people. Uh, it was so refreshing to read this because as someone in finance, I kept thinking, why are they telling us this is going to rebound so quickly when the data is so obviously terrible? So I, I'm glad that economists are finally coming forward with, with truthful data. Hey, if you found this video helpful up to this point, will you give it a like so that YouTube will share it with others? And please share this on Facebook and social media. Okay, now uh, I wanna answer a bunch of your questions all at once because I keep seeing them repeated over and over again in the comments section. And if you haven't noticed, there's only one of me, <laughs> but I get over 5,000 comments a day and I try to read through those and I try to be good to my community. So I'm just gonna go through and ask these questions out loud and then give you my answer. Uh, seniors are saying, what about seniors, people on social security, SSI and SSDI, will, be, will we be included in the second round of money? Uh, as of right now, you are included in that. And it didn't hurt that within the last 24 hours, Mnuchin said uh, money to the people would go out in a broad way like it did the time before. So for me, it's still on the table. Uh, are we going to get a second stimulus check? Uh, I think that we will. It just is not happening as fast as any of us need it to. How do I get the EIDL grant money? Uh, or excuse me, how should I spend the EIDL grant money? Uh, however your business needs you to spend it. There, there's no uh, rules on how to spend that, that $1,000. Uh, how do I get the EIDL $10,000 grant? Okay, now there is no uh, $10,000 EIDL grant. Uh, clickbaiters are using this higher number in order to get your clicks. Uh, the EIDL is $1,000 for up to 10 employees. So $1,000 times 10, that's 10,000. So I'm sorry that they tricked you and added to that confusion. I hope they get athlete's foot for tricking you. <laughs> that's about the worst I'm willing to, 
to wish on somebody. Okay, now Cynthia from the community says, I thought the U.S. was the richest country in the world. Why can't they get us money? Now, I love my country, so let me say this gently. The United States is not the richest country in the world. We're actually one of the most in-debt countries in the world. Yes, we produce a lot and we spend a lot and the rest of the world has come accustomed to our American lifestyle and our military protection. But this high level of debt is the reason that they are moving so slowly. So yes, we're rich in a lot of ways, but we're also incredibly in debt in a lot of ways. So I, I tried to put that as delicately as I could because I do love my country. Okay, why is my unemployment being taxed? So unemployment is the government paying you to find a job. So your job is to find a job. So because it's a job where you're getting paid, they are going to tax you. Okay, Doris asks, why is the IRS so far behind on tax returns? Well, the IRS had to shut down their offices and work from home like most of the businesses in the United States. Um, they also had this little thing where they had to get money out to 150 million people. So, uh, but they are back on track. And uh, I know that answer sucks, but that is the answer and they are working on it now. So thanks for the question, Doris. Uh, Reynolds says, why don't you run ads halfway through your videos to make more money? We appreciate your time and efforts. Um, I don't feel a need to, and I appreciate your time and don't want to waste it. And so I don't, I don't do that. Okay, how do I get some rent assistance? I'm dying here. Uh, there are actually many rental, uh, or excuse me, rent assistance programs. I don't have anyone uh, in specific because there are 50 states plus Washington, D.C. and five territories. Uh, my best advice to you would be to Google rent assistance and your city or rent assistance and your state or rest, rent assistance and your county. Uh, there are programs out there, so look into that. Um, I know your landlord would appreciate it, but uh, yeah, there are programs out there, so please do check that out. Okay, how do I get my first check if I was claimed unknowingly by someone else? Um, next year, you will have to file a tax return and specifically ask for that recovery credit. Uh, I, I know it's not as fast as you want, but that is the answer I'm reading after doing a lot of research for you. Um, you may also want to ask the person who claimed you without your knowledge for help because they probably should not have done that. Uh, which brand of toothpaste do you use? Colgate. Ding. Uh, why do you look sad some days? Uh, well, you know, there's a lot of people suffering out there and uh, my heart goes out to them and uh, it makes me feel sad a lot of times. And doing this research makes me feel sad so um, but you know what if I smiled all the time you guys would probably think I was nuts <laughs> okay how do I get the EIDL grant and loan so go to SBA small business administration SBA.gov um, you will only get this if you have a legitimate business with a tax ID uh, but I was able to get mine approved um, and they are sending that money to my business so that I can use it to, to keep going and then I'll have to look into whether to uh, keep the loan or not. So um, are you secretly Superman? Uh, nope, <laughs> uh, but I do try to be a super husband and a super dad. Okay, now lastly, I do want you to remember this, uh, that you are amazing and I wanna thank you for being in my community and I will see you on the next video.